Greetings, folks. It's Light Wolf here. Um, uh, I am coming to you because I've had a prophetic dream that I well that I was told to share with you by the Lord, and what's really interesting is I've been praying since the the visions and the dreams and stuff and the prophetic word that I was given back in. November and December and I've been praying for the Lord to use me in that way again and nothing nothing's come until just last night uh, so I'm encouraged that the Lord is ready to use me again and is also prospering my trees and my fruit trees and helping me figure out you know how to take care of my yard and stuff like that because he's all about stewardship. Stewardship. <clears throat> so without any further ado, here's the dream. Now I wrote it down so that I wouldn't get things mixed up or take too long to explain it. So here we go. I just woke up from a frightening prophetic dream. And for the record, this is this is Monday. May 10th, 2021. I just woke up from a frightening prophetic dream. I was in a grassy, marshy swamp when I noticed a dead body in a nearby building. It was as if there was an apartment complex near or in the swampy bayou that people were getting murdered in. They seemed to be mostly young, college-age people, like in most teen horror movies or slasher films. But what surprised me most was the first or second set of murders I observed as a discarnate spirit, astral projecting as it were, were young 16-year-old girls, and they murdered with knives and blades. I looked and saw a girl of about 16 or 17 years old with dark black hair and black eyeliner wearing a mostly black schoolgirl uniform, and another girl murdered a third girl I saw, yeah and the, another girl and I saw them murder a third girl whom they lure, lured into this place they didn't even bother to bury the body for it was a trophy unto them that it would be accounted to their benefit from their master whom they served or were wanting to serve then I watched in horror and had to look away even as the first girl slaughtered the second girl who had helped her murder and been her accomplice. The first two may have, lured, may have been lured there by the third on pretense of, hey, do you want to go see a dead body? The body in question seemed to be a skinny, old, bearded, white, southern rural man who was slaughtered with bladed instruments who was lying dead in his old blue 1950s Ford pickup truck in the swamp. Then as I continued to observe in the spirit, more people came, and I knew in the spirit that this restaurant in the swamp was a place of initiation mm -hmm. where, where they would come to join and be initiated to this brotherhood of blood where they would feast on the flesh and blood of mere mortals. Quote, hoping to gain power and thus become as gods, saith the Lord. But their plan will ultimately fail, but not before much destruction has taken place in the earth. Brother will kill brother, spreading blood across the land. In this case, the brothers are both fraternity brothers and church brothers. For if you are a Freemason and you serve Freemasonry, how can you also serve God? You will either love Freemasonry and hate God, or you will hate Freemasonry and love and serve God fully. For you cannot love and serve both God and mammon. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. In the dream, I tried to escape. I felt as if I was a targeted victim. And then I felt that I had become the fleshly body of someone who had infiltrated the organization. This was a 20-something-year-old white college student, a man of great stature, 
but I felt like my infiltration had been uncovered by the cabal. And then all their mil minions were after me. This is how my true prophets feel when they are telling all the enemy's secrets and they are discovered by the cabal and then targeted, marked for death in the spirit and in the flesh. Do not eat after the 7 p.m. nightly prayer and do not eat before the 4.30 a.m. morning prayer. This prayer schedule is not meant as a law or a rule, but rather a helpmeet for anyone struggling with spiritual attack or spiritual warfare. Then as I was running upstairs to escape, I ran into what appeared to be a wrestling team in training, running up and down the stairs to condition themselves and increase our stamina. For we wrestle not against for we wrestle not against flesh and blood says the lord but against principalities and powers and evil rulers in high places in the spirit realm and in real life i ran with the red suited wrestlers for only a moment to try to fit in and in that way escape the clutches of those working for the evil one I had camouflaged myself and it worked temporarily. At some point I ended up in a high chamber in, the, in an upper room. There I became aware that I was either Asian or as one who had studied and been immersed, baptized if you will, in Asian culture. I was at peace in this room, but somehow I knew it was a false peace. There were Asian spiritual tapestries hanging and blowing in a gentle breeze. There were no harsh colors, but rather the soft pastels of Buddhism and New Agery. And I became aware that I knew and was skilled at Asian martial arts. No sooner had I entered the room when a Nordic looking college age man about my character's age, which by this time was around 32, who kind of resembled Brian Bosworth, entered the room with, a lo with long blonde curly hair and either bearing his full chest or wearing a robe that showed his cleavage. He had a soft and pleasant demeanor and I knew in the dream that this had been, that this had been someone who I called friend and had attended college with decades earlier. He began to say things and do surprisingly friendly attacks on my person as light sparring between friends. But really, he had become thoroughly corrupt, evil, perhaps even possessed. And though he recalled fully our relationship and the fullness of it, and had that awareness, he was also simultaneously fully and completely changed. And though he tried to hide it, somehow I knew that he was the one behind all the murders and this cabal of blood. Then I awoke. When I asked the Lord what did this dream mean, after waking up, he said in the voice of Prophet Robin D. Bullock, They are eating each other, says the Lord. They are a fraternity of blood. For too long they have destroyed my people, the innocent. This cabal of death makes it a valuable thing, a sought-after thing, to murder, to annihilate each other. It makes a game of hunting, saith the Lord. But I will send in a comforter in the flesh, a peaceful warrior who has the power to take down the cabal, and he will at last battle with his friend, and it will become clear to him that his old college buddy whom he thought he knew he didn't know at all. And he, the comforter, will say to him, the arch-villain, It was you? I would never have suspected that you were the one behind all this chaos. And they will do battle, saith the Lord. And the comforter will prevail over the wicked one and the evil one. But not until much destruction and loss of life had manifested in the name of Yeshua. But this is not Yeshua 
but a false delusion that has convinced convinced the flock that it was Yeshua, my son. But again I say, this was not Yeshua, but a false one coming in his name. I then said, Lord, what can we do then? He said to me, you can pray. Do not fight this evil cabal with swords and shields, except the sword of the Spirit and the shield of faith. But you will have the most success and build up your spiritual defenses by praying in the Spirit daily. Rise early in the morning, go to a quiet place, and begin to pray in the Spirit. On your lunch break, right before eating, begin to pray in the Spirit. If you are in public, read Matthew 14, 2-6 uh, silently, while praying in the Spirit in your mind, in your soul. Then at 7 p.m. at night, retire to a quiet place for about 5 to 20 minutes. As the Spirit leads, the Holy Spirit will guide you and begin to pray in tongues, and begin to pray in tongues, which is also called praying in the Spirit. Keep this schedule for 28 days and see if I don't make you a beast prayer warrior, able to not only withstand the evil day, as my servant Paul said about donning the full armor of God, but also to go on the offensive against the authors of the evil day, that evil one who is Satan. End transmission. So there you have it, folks. That is the dream and the interpretation from the Lord. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, Put them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if something resonates about this prophetic dream with you or if you have other revelations that the Lord is showing you, uh, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for joining me. This is uh, Light Wolf. And, uh, you know, all that jazz. Like, subscribe, share. Um, let's get this message out, folks. Go ahead and share this with others. Do not copy my video and put it out there for monetization. You are not authorized to do such. In Jesus' name, amen.